Hello everyone. Welcome in CTH Education. Today we will discuss how to draw a flow chart to find the roots of quadratic equation. First of all, we will discuss what is the concept to find the roots of quadratic equation. So, we consider a general equation of quadratic ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the general equation of uh, quadratic. In this equation, a, a, b, and c are constant, which is used to find uh, roots of this equation. So, first of all, we will discuss what is the concept to find roots of quadratic equation. So, concept here, find d. d that means discriminant. d is equal to b square minus 4ac. After that, we can check uh, d is equal to 0, d is greater than 0, or d is less than 0. In different, different cases, roots are uh, different. In first cases, if d is equal to 0, both roots are equal, x1 and x2 are equal, and value of roots is minus b divided by uh, 2a. Okay? If d is greater than 0, roots are different and value of roots x1 is equal to minus b plus under root d divided by uh, 2a and x2 is equal to minus b minus under root d divided by uh, 2a. And in last cases, if d is less than 0, uh, roots are imaginary. Uh, roots are imaginary okay this is the concept to find roots of quadratic equation and after that we will discuss how to draw a flow chart to find roots of quadratic equation okay so first of all a start here a start after that we can take inputs how many input variable we can use in uh, this flow chart. So first of all, take here input. Input. Okay. Uh, read input here. Uh, read first of all constant A, B, C. After that, we can find discriminant in D. After that, we find uh, roots X1 and X2. So these are the variable which can be used to draw a flowchart or find the roots of quadratic equation. After that, we can find value of discriminant at D. Value of discriminant at D. Here, at D is equal to B multiplied by B minus 4 multiplied by A multiplied by C b square minus of 4ac. After that, we can check the condition if d is greater than 0, d is less than 0, or d is equal to uh, 0. Then put here a condition. Put here a, a condition for d. If uh, d is greater than or equal to 0, here put the condition yes. And here, uh, no. If the condition is true, control is flow through uh, yes. Okay, through yes. Here we can again check the condition if d is greater than zero or equal to zero. Here both condition put here. Uh, d is equal to zero and d is greater than zero. In both cases, control is goes here. Yes. Okay. After that, check here if d is greater than 0 or d is equal to uh, 0. d is greater than 0 or d is equal to uh, 0. First of all, erase it. Okay. If here, here put if uh, d is greater than uh, 0. So, here also yes and uh, no. Yes or 
uh, no. If the condition here d is greater than zero is uh, true, then uh, we can print uh, roots of the quadratic equation x1 and x2. Here print x1 and x2. And x1 is equal to minus b plus under root d divided by 2a. And x2 is equal to minus b minus under root d divided by uh, 2a. In these cases, d is greater than uh, 0. If this condition is false, d is greater than 0 is false, then uh, we can uh, we can print here x1 and x2 are equal. Both roots are equal. Both roots are equal. x1 is equal to x2 equal to minus b divided by uh, 2a. And go to a stop. In both cases, a stop. Okay. A stop. Okay. But if condition is false here, if the condition is false here, d is greater than and equal to 0 is false. That means d is less than 0. If the d is less than 0, uh, print here, uh, roots are imaginary. Simply put uh, roots are imaginary. Imaginary. And after that, stop. So this is the flow chart to find the roots of a quadratic equation.